Hi guys, uh, um, Ankita here from Education Street and very excited to share uh, today's uh, topic that is uh, MS in Computer Science in USA. Way too popular, way too, uh, you know, uh, attractive and uh, this has been uh, the most numbers of students even from our side which opt for this uh, course. Saying this, certainly it comes with a lot of uh, competition and hence uh, you need to be better prepared so today's agenda for me to share is how the program is designed uh, how do they grade you uh, how do you choose your university for ms in computer science and of course what are the jobs and salaries which you would draw after this investment so this is definitely uh, what the uh, today's uh, you will go walk out with information once you hear my Instagram live for today so um, MS in US uh, MS in CS uh, computer science in US is quite a popular program but obvious because US is big daddy when it comes to uh, computer science there are varied other degrees which match to it like uh, software engineering and and um, information technology but it is very widely known as MS in CS now uh, the program is basically for two years divided into four semesters six months each uh, the fourth semester typically has a dissertation for you wherein you can do a research on your topic and your interest um, and that is how you can engage with uh, even an angle of doing a PhD further in case if you're looking forward for but it is not necessary that you need to go for a PhD angle there is another option which is available that if you feel I am not at all looking at for dissertation or stuff that way most of the universities in US has a second degree offered which is called as masters in engineering very popularly known in short as MEng. So this is what uh, US offers and that's what you can look out when you're looking out for the programs there. Uh, a lot of students have different ideology about the program and hence I want to uh, share much more lighter on a bigger perspective when it comes to CS. So yes, certainly CS has fundamental and traditional programs, uh, subjects. The entire four semesters are basically called into credit systems. So in US, uh, we are all alien to this term, which is basically credit systems because we have subjects, we have semesters and then we have a percentage or a CGPA. But they work on credit system. That means per subject, one subject leads you into a three credits or whatever the university has. So the total two year program leads basically re might require you to earn a degree of MS in CS ranging of a credit system from 30 to 40. Typically it lies between 36 because one subject will give you three credits. I know it might get little more complicated but we are here to assist you in case just ping us and we will let you know. Okay. So the US universities have a different education framework made be for MS in CS or whatever that you're looking out for. So they have 30, 30 to 40 credits per um, di for different universities for this MS in US to be earned by you. So you need to have at least three subjects or two subjects per semester while you are studying in US. Sounds pretty much balanced and I would definitely say that US MS is quite balanced. It gets pressurized when you are actually not able to uh, map about what they are looking out for. Okay, So there is no spoon feeding done. The lot of these programs are very practically oriented. And in fact, I would say it is not difficult. It is what the students love uh, because that approach is very much missing here. And hence, we love doing practically things. So there are assignments, there are group assignments, there are uh, case studies and a lot of way that they map you for this program. So the gradings is out of GPA. So you have to have a good GPA out of 4. So typically if you do 3.5 and up, you should be really among the top 10% of the class. So this is how the um, MS in U uh, CS is planned. There are different tracks most of the university offer. The best part about US universities is that there is a lot of tailoring done for your program. 
so the same number of students the same two students in the university might have a very different transcript at the end because the choices are numerous you are allowed to choose what you want to study so you have data science track you have artificial intelligence into it you have business analytics into it you have software engineering into it that you have information systems into it there are ample amount of choices that you have so when you're looking for a university in us you need to surely go by the electives which they have so there are two components when you choose the curriculum one is the core curriculum hardly three or four subjects are fixed whereas all the other remaining 10 or 9 subjects are left upon you to choose how beautiful and how wonderful is that because that is something which we don't have an habit because even if we dislike or we really hate something we are never given a choice to drop that year in our education framework any which ways so in that case you have really good choices that even confuses the student but you will eventually know while you are there to choose and tailor and prepare your course as you like so wherever you want have want to have your career interest you grow into this so if i am someone who's looking for cs but i have more focus towards ai or machine learning i'd better choose or check my universities thoroughly with the electives that they have for ai or ml if i falter here it will be no one's mistake but yours because none of the counselor can decide what you want to study okay so as a counselor i can give you the universities i can give you an ms in us uh, uh, ms in cs course work upon what you have shared with me but the technical thing which you want to study will have to be more uh, decided from your end and you have to be aware of what you want to do that so that is very important point while you are choosing your university when you are going for us so this is how the programs are defined with different tracks and they are absolutely open for you to tailor the program as and how you want and that is the beauty of ms in cs in us no wonder that is the most popular program around the globe from the indian students and indian students have actually proven their legacy because they have definitely performed the well in terms of grades in terms of getting internships in terms of you know landing up with a very good job we all are aware and we have very much seen that how much mark we have made in the field of computer science and technology in us the entire silicon valley or wherever you call in back indians are definitely one of the most popular uh, people and uh, area around who are doing wonderfully and who have settled there absolutely so this is how ms in cs works in typical cost for ms in cs ranges from 22000 dollar to 40 42000 dollar i understand there's a huge range which i have given but that's what us offers there are almost 4000 plus universities which are there in us the differentiation is the state universities normally have a range of 22 to 27000 as their tuition fee whereas when it comes to private university the average cost is 35000 to 40000 per year so you can calculate a two year course accordingly the range which i have given in if i have economical budget absolutely no problem we i in for state universities if you ask me is there a differentiating or di a disparity in salaries if you are from state or private absolutely no that's why us is known to have a very neutral education framework and we have really good top notch schools also wherein the fees lie around very very low as well so you need to find the right fit for you among so many options you need your right fit for that you need a right counselor or a mentor to help you to get that right fit of ms in cs everything is available online i agree I agree there's everything that you can google about but are you aware between what is the right information or a right fit for you unless and unless you have an experience towards it and that is the difference which education street 
from so many years and with a very big heart and a very big intention to do nothing but clean counseling so ms in cs is definitely a very good option in us now let me take you further so typically after two semester you will look for an internship in us so after two semester you will look for in the summer which is basically september are the intake so in may uh, next year you will be basically looking out for an internship internship the universities provide a lot of connections because they have industry partners and computer science department is the most network department so you will absolutely have this uh uh you know uh, uh, opportunity to do an internship uh then after that after your fourth semester your third semester you will start looking out for a jobs the number of jobs are usually very high when it comes to cs background it could be in software engineering area it could be web developer okay it could be product developer these are the normal areas which you can look out for okay the typical job salary ranges we all want to know that because if you are investing so much the return on investment is very very crucial so typically the salary ranges from 70000 per year to 100000 per year so this is how it also depends on how powerful your profile is it doesn't always depend on whether you are experienced or not experienced because i have my own students who have been freshers and they have still managed to get a salary range of 100000 dollar plus because of the accolades and the achievements which they had to back them up so you definitely have to be a very powerful skills so i always have been talking about profile building so while you are studying you need to engage in a lot of skilling of yourself if you do that sitting in front of an employer and getting that deal is never going to be difficult so ms in cs as i said there are ample of universities the best place to go and look out for the university reputation and university rankings would be usnews.com so you can all look for that however a lot of universities are ranked depending on their department and hence all the information might not come directly as you see online so we would love to appreciate and you know help you out if you connect with us and we have all our services to provide you to get you the best fit of yours so i hope this session helps you and if you have any question related to ms in cs in usa i will definitely like to answer them so you can dm us or you can comment on this video i have one more thing to share with everybody we have a very big webinar coming on this saturday which is on 19th of september at 6 pm if you have registered for it trust me you have lot of take uh, to uh, Uh, you know information to take away on that day so if you're looking for ms in us right from the job trends the salaries the kind of areas trum administration the application process i am going to cover entire a to z of ms in us in that uh, webinar for you and we will not let you go empty handed we have really good offers so if you're looking out for it please register in our uh, webinar which is the link is for which is already there in our bio hope to see you guys very soon tomorrow i come for with yet another uh, insta live and i would appreciate if you would like to join us